these are some of the top most popular TV shows that are going to be delayed due to the Screen Actors SAG after writer strike. Thank you guys so very much for being here. This video is brought to you by the members of Jody's Corner, the ones who hit that join button down below. Click and join, become a member, and get the appropriate perks. I'll show you guys the graphic at the end of this video too. So, because of the writer strike, I know a pop people are like, yo, what is actually going to happen to the shows that we know and love and watch? The shows that come out for the fall, mid-season, uh, uh, springtime, what's going to happen? Well, I got bad news. There's a lot of delays for TV shows and here are some of the most popular ones. Looking at this list over here, we see that Outlander is uh, season eight is going to be delayed due to it. Blood of My Blood is one of the shows impacted by the strikes. Executive producer Maria Davis confirmed that they had done some work for season eight and the writer's room still hasn't stopped. The Handmaid's Tale. I got off of the show because it got a little bit too crazy for me. Like it didn't abide by its own rules. Old girl should have been thrown off the wall in season two, but it is what it is. Uh, Euphoria, this is a huge show that is getting delayed for many reasons, but the writer's strike just adds way more to it. As you guys probably know that Angus Cloud, who plays Fez, you know what I'm saying? He plays Fez. He he passed away due to, uh, I believe it was, uh, I can't even say it because of YouTube. Uh, no official word from HBO regarding the death of Angus Cloud, but, you know, fans have been waiting for this for a long time. Fans have been waiting for season two for a long time. That was like a, how long did it take season two to come out? What was it, like a two-year hiatus from season one? I remember people telling me about watch Euphoria, watch Euphoria. Euphoria 2, Euphoria season 2 is out. I'm like, dang, y'all were telling me like two years ago to watch Euphoria. So, uh, yeah, Euphoria is one of the one of those that begun writing in tandem with post-production on the idol at this point. We don't count, we don't have countless scripts. We can start shooting so the delivery of the show, which is going to be an ideally in 2025, will be determined. I don't think that this show is going to come out at all in 2024 and i think that it's possible that the show might not even come out in 2025 unless this strike the longer this strike goes on the more we're gonna have to wait just it, it just costs too much production too much time because they don't have no script for euphoria season three he ain't worked on that thing yet plus with the death of of my dude fez they're probably gonna shelve this thing with zendaya's career taking off to astronomical heights with all the other actors who are freaking talented and amazing or doing other shows and other movies and other projects euphoria just well might be completely finished i wouldn't be surprised if it did and never came back there's a show called emily in paris the hit netflix show was originally supposed to begin filming in the late summer of 2023 but has been delayed by two months in hopes of the strike being resolved. According to Variety, they're hoping that the film in autumn instead, with actress Philippine Leroy Beliu saying plans are on hold a little bit. Uh, we've been waiting for it to be resolved. We'll see how it settles. See that right there? We're waiting. That's all you can do is wait. We're waiting to, for it to be resolved. We'll see how it settles. These people who are even in the midst of making these movies, they're not working. Everything is on pause. And after the strike is over, some people are not even going to come back. Some people might have changed their minds of even doing the show. A producer, a writer, a director, an actor. They might be like, you know what? After the strike, I got a different perspective. I done made negotiations on the picket line. People are on the picket lines right now as I'm making this video, making moves like, yo, man, let's make, let's make a show together. Yeah, for yeah, but I do got this other show I'm supposed to. Man, freak that show. You right, freak that show. When the strike is over, I'm going to say no to them, yes to you, let's make a move. A lot of that stuff is happening. So some of these TV shows are not going to come back. Some of these TV shows are going to be delayed indefinitely. But... We go on to the rest of the list. Stranger Things from the Duffer Brothers. They confirmed that Stranger Things will be delayed as long as the strike continues. Posting on X, formerly known as Twitter. I can't believe that he just destroyed his logo, the Twitter bird like that. Crazy. Writing does not stop when filming begins. While we're excited at the start of production of our amazing cast and crew, it is not possible during this strike. We hope a fair deal is reached soon so we can get back to work. Until then, over and out. That pretty much says what it says. There, you know, dang, they done grew up. I didn't see season four. A lot of you guys want me to watch season four. I haven't seen it because I didn't think season three was relatively great. Severance. Production was shut down on season two for the Apple hit TV show with writer Adam Conover tweeting, Hey, Apple, 
No more eps of your of your hit show workers using collective action to fight backs against an exploitative tech company until you give your real life workers a fair deal. Thank you to the Teamsters at IATC who honored our picket line. Well, he's very radical, bro. He might be coming back to nothing, bro. They might replace this motherfucker when the strike is over. God damn. All right. Uh, so uh, Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is another one. Fans of the karate show might have to wait a little while as the writer's room is closed. Co-creator co John Hurwitz tweeted that pencils down in the Cobra Kai writer's room. No writers on set. These aren't fun times, but it's unfortunately necessary. All right, those are just a couple of, of shows that are going to be delayed, but I looked at the full production list from Wiki, and some of these are just crazy. Look, 14th Governor's Award, 16th Television Academy Honors Awards, TC Awards, Daytime Emmy Awards, all these Emmy Awards shows, all of these award shows canceled, delayed, hold on production, hiatus, all of those award shows, award shows for what? Nothing being made? Miss me. Plus, they got to be live at the award shows, and they can't go to award shows because they're striking. Films, this is where it gets crazy. Avatar 3, 4, 5, Avengers Secret Wars, pushed to December 30, uh, 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 Avatar 5, 2031. To see 2030 anything is blowing my mind right now, dog. It's 2023, and already we see a movie slated for 2031. I can't even say that right. Hey, in 2031, fuck. That should sound crazy. Avengers Kang Dynasty premiere was pushed to 2026. Secret Wars pushed to 2027. Batman Part 2 filming postponed until 2024. Now, these are all contingent on the longevity of the writer strike. I could tell you right now. That Hell no. Sorry about that. If this strike goes for another six months, all of this stuff is going to be delayed another year easily so batman might not even come in 2024 might be coming in 2025 uh with superman legacy wouldn't that be great uh script writing pause on that blade is in hell uh cleopatra patty jenkins is doing the production of it patty jenkins she stepped down as director of the movie but she's still going to be a producer on the movie hands-on hands-off approach somebody else is going to be directing gal gadot will be starring as cleopatra that's going to be interesting should be a lot of hell around that movie as far as who's white who's black fantastic four uh push to 2025 freaky friday who cares uh gran turismo we already know that came out and it was pushed it was pushed then look at craven craven the hunter pushed back an entire year did you guys know that craven the hunter was supposed to come out this month actually last month i think it was supposed to come out in august they pushed that bad boy, or was it October? They pushed that bad boy back an entire year. That doesn't sound good for the Craven the Hunter movie. That movie is probably going to be mid, even though I expect it to be awesome. But looking at that, I can't be happy about that. Premiere delayed indefinitely for the new Spider-Man Beyond the Universe. If you guys seen Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, you guys will know that that thing ended in a cliffhanger leading up to the trilogy that is now delayed indefinitely, which means they don't know when that's going to be able to come back. Okay, Superman Legacy, filmmaker James Gunn suspending writing for the duration of the strike. But James Gunn himself said that Superman Legacy is on track to premiere in 2025. The script has already been written. And then, you know, shooting it, producing it. Yes, if the writer's strike is still going on for too much longer, then Superman Legacy will also have to be delayed. Uh, Thunderbolts has been on delay as well. Transformers 1, I believe the director of, is the director of Blue Beetle doing that? Uh, who was it? Uh, tw Twisters? Oh my goodness, is that like Twisters from the, the TV, the, the old Twister 1997 movie? A Scream sequel, Spider-Man, Transformers, White Bird, look at all these television series. All of these television series delayed. Look at this. Post-production suspended. Writing room shuttered. Delayed. Delayed. Delayed, delayed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is serious. I just wanted to show you guys this because everything that you watch that has scriptedness to it, like scripted TV with pr production budgets, major houses, anyone tied to a major production company, I think everything outside of reality shows, I think reality TV is like not part of this. I think reality TV is going to boom. Some reality TV shows are owned by big houses, but some of them, a lot of the private ones are going to be thriving. 
uh, as well as YouTubers, social media influencers, the rise of that is going to be going through the roof. Anime content, baby, going through the roof because you know them, they don't play in Asia. You know what I'm saying? You work, motherfucker. You work or I'll freaking kill you, motherfucker. But in all honesty, man, every show that you watch on TV is going to be delayed. No matter what network, AMC, HBO, uh, ABC, NBC, USA, CW, thank God, it's going to be delayed. That's the reality of the situation. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Thank you to the tier three members of Jody's Corner for making this happen. And if you don't want to be a freaking person that's on the outs, get on the ins and support Jody's Corner by picking one of these tiers and joining memberships today.